Czech futures, please. I see a lot of green, up 200 on the Dow. Nasdaq, up 165. And look who's here, David Barnson himself. You've got to tell me about Blackstone. You've talked about it for some time. You convinced me to buy it. Thank you very much. And now it's come in with a blowout profit report. What a company. Yeah, it really is a fantastic company with a great business model. It was a huge quarter. But, Stuart, $917 billion of assets they're managing. When I first bought the stock 10 years ago, they were managing $200 billion. Those are fee earnings, okay? This is recurring revenue that they're going to get year over year. So it's a great story today, and it's a great story into the future. Is it still a dividend play, Blackstone? Yeah, they declared a big dividend this morning. It annualizes to about 4.5%, the dividend they announced this morning. And, of course, they've been paying a big, juicy dividend for many years. They have indeed. Now, you're our dividend guy. I know you brought two more dividend-paying stocks, one of which you've mentioned several times before. That's IBM. What are they paying now? Uh, IBM is close to 5% in their dividend. They were up over 7% yesterday when they announced earnings. It was their biggest revenue in, in years, the biggest revenue growth. And they just have really righted a lot of what was wrong with the company. This old tech versus new tech thesis that I've had for a while, yeah. it was not working last year It's or, or the year before. It's really working now, Stuart. IBM is doing great. Netflix is back to 2017 stock price. They gave up five years of returns in three months. Yeah. Facebook is down 50%, but then you see IBM up 40%. Yeah. This is, to me, where there's great value for investors. Fascinating. Uh, old tech comes back. Uh, Procter & Gamble. Yeah, also up about 4% in the last week. And, and this is the story of inflation and higher prices means lower margins, except for when you're Procter Gamble and you can pass on the cost of higher soap and higher diapers and laundry detergent. You can pass that on to customers. That's called pricing power. You may not like it when you're the guy at the store buying things, but you do like it when you're an investor in Procter Gamble, a great inflation hedge. Tell me again, what's the dividend payout on P&G? Uh, P&G is roughly a 3% dividend, but most importantly, they've grown the dividend every year for 80 years in a row. Every year they've grown the dividend 80 years plus. Really? Good Lord. That's right. So just like I want you to know that today is Thursday, I want you to know that Procter Gamble grows the dividend every year. Sarcasm, young man, is a low form of wit, as I say many, many times. David Vanson, however, you are all right, and we will see you again real soon. Thanks, David.